you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. What's going on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got San Diego in the studio today, man. I got Owe. What's popping? What's the dilly? What's the dilly? How you doing? Man, I'm living, bro. I'm living. I can't complain. First, I want to say welcome home. Glad to have you back out. Uh, we, we don't want you to go back. <laughs> um, how you feeling right now? You, you've been in jail like what, two years? Uh, three, bro. Three. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I was actually in there for like a uh, cool little six, seven months before I bailed out. Yeah. And then when I bailed out, I just, uh, you know what I'm saying, did the dash on the ass. Yeah. But um, ended up doing for like another two and a half. So yeah. all together like three. But, bro, it, it feel good being home, bro. I don't, I don't take it for granted at all. Yeah. What what was like some of the some you was looking forward to when you knew you was getting out? Honestly, bro, um, you know, just the opportunities. You know what I'm saying to do something different. Um, you feel me? Majority of my life, you know what I mean. It just been like cutting corners. You know what I mean? Uh, scheming and getting over. Yeah. So to know that a nigga actually had action that doing something that didn't require you feel me something so smirkish. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It was like. Oh, all right, let me see what this, let me see what this legal brand about, you yeah. feel me? Did you feel any pressure, you know, like, you getting out, like, you got a buzz, like, everybody want to see what you going to drop, everybody yeah. see what you going to do, like, nah. were, you, were you, like, I know you got out, was in the studio, was you, like, Man, ASAP, like, immediately got up in there, <laughs> uh, as far as the pressure, nah, man, nah, I, uh, really, to keep a G, I work better under pressure. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You know, to I know it's a lot of anticipation around me. Um, it's a lot of people, you know what I mean, asking, asking questions. What are you going to do? When are you going to do it? Is he, you know what I'm saying, can he top himself? I know it's a lot going on, you know yeah. what I mean? But that's 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 as expected. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just talk shit like I usually do. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then let them, you feel me, do their quoting and, and captioning. Yeah. You feel nah, me? <laughs> nah, I got you for sure. Oh. Just to get into it, though, uh, how did you grow up? Uh, was your parents around? Like, what was that like? Look, right, so it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, I low-key had, like, the, the the best of both worlds, you feel me? So uh, Monday through Friday, I was at mom's, yeah. you feel me? And she was no nonsense. Nigga, go to school. I'm in sports. Nigga, got chores, you feel me? I had everything over there, video games, clothes, mom, yeah. mom, shit like that. But then on the weekends, though, you feel me? Because my mom and my dad wasn't together, so yeah. I go to my dad's house. Grimy. Yeah. Grimy, 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 yeah. grimy you feel me? But... Uh, me and Pops was uh, we 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 was like you know what I'm saying we was like joined at the hip because yeah. he was at a young age he was lacing me yeah he was you feel me putting it in my life young so you know what I'm saying when I'm when it's time to go back to mom house the bugs that he didn't dropped on me I'm thirsty for the you feel me yeah. I'm thirsty for the information so yeah. you feel me it was it, it's, it's burnt out but. I was I was actually uh uh looking forward to going back to the slums. Yeah. You feel me? Over the comfort of, you know what I'm saying, the yeah. middle class home my mom's house. Yeah. You feel me? Nah, that makes sense though. You you up there you soaking you both freedom and you soaking up hella game for your pops, you feel me? Like yeah. Nah, yeah. I, I, that, that's hella understandable. But nah, growing up was cool though. I was never without, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't struggling or nothing like that. I mean, I didn't been through some, I didn't been through some slum shit yeah. though, you know what I mean? Like, don't yeah. get me wrong, like my aunties and them, like, they was poor and yeah. you feel me? Like, I, I grew up around it, but me personally though, yeah. nah, you feel me? I, I, I wasn't lacking or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not never with food, uh, no food in the fridge or shit, nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah. What high school you went to out here? Uh, Samuel F. B. Morris High School, the Tigers, man. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Tigers, man. What is your ethnicity? Uh, I'm half Mexican and half black. Okay. Yeah. Is it important you? Uh, is it important for you to kind of bridge the gap between the black and Mexicans in low key, right? Uh, recently. See, because growing up, I used to always get shit from the homies, you feel for me? Real? Oh, that's Pisa blood, or yeah. you feel me, uh, Hector blood, you know what I'm saying? They used to get on me about yeah. that shit, and so, you feel me, I didn't really, like, like I didn't really shun it, but it, it, you feel me, what was associated with my Hispanic side was, you know what I'm saying, it was like, low-key, like, ridicule, you feel yeah. me? But uh, as I got older, um, 
most definitely I got interested in, you know what I'm saying, in in in, in the uh, in the other side of my ethnicity. Yeah. So I think kind of like low key, that's where the Alejandro came from. Yeah. That ultra ego, you feel me? Because yeah. I get real peasy, man, <laughs> yeah. and I start getting real decorated with my language. But then I don't know, shit. You know, Alejandro surfaced. You know what I'm saying? But nah, for sure, I think I think it's for sure. Uh, I think it's important for anybody to, you know what I mean, embrace everything of, you know what I mean, who they are, what yeah. they are, where they came from, yeah. shit like that, you know. Did yeah. it ever bother you that, like, people would, like, the being mixed, did you ever, you know, some people be mixed, they be like, neither side was really giving me the love, they weren't embracing me. Was mm. that, was it like that growing up for you, or you felt nah, like? Nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Uh, Shit, it was breaking on both sides. Yeah, <laughs> on me. And then too, like San Diego's like a big melting pot. You feel me? You yeah, know what I'm saying? So for it's, sure. it's so many, it's so many cultures, it's so many races. So it's kind of like impossible not to fuck with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A black person, or it's not. It's impossible not to fuck with a Mexican or a yeah. Filipino, Guamanian. God damn it! You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all got it all out here for yeah, sure. Yeah, on me, loud tonguing all that shit. Yeah. Where are you from exactly in San Diego? I'm from uh, the 92114 zip code. Um, you feel me at the southeast? So uh, I'm a I'm all Farrell Park Bankster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You feel me from the eastern geographical region of the gang bang map? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where uh, what is it like growing up in O'Farrell? Like it's it. It's it's a it's a it's a blood it's a blood yeah, area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, it's a trip, right? Because O'Farrell is, you know what I'm saying? So so we 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 reside in within a bigger set. You feel me? Skyline. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So and I ain't even supposed to be killing all this. But basically though, you feel me, it's it's pretty close knit right there, you know what I'm saying? It's it's two ways in, you feel me? Um, you know, all cul de sacs, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's, it's smaller numbers like we like the Spartans you yeah. feel me like 300 <laughs> yeah. you know what yeah. I'm saying we ain't deep you feel me but we elite though yeah uh, can you talk about like the process that you getting put on do you, you, do you want to share that so look at right um, I mean I ain't gonna lie you feel me niggas niggas a lot of niggas and I get this a lot you feel me especially like being in a uh, in, in the correctional system and shit, you feel me, and getting to mingle with other niggas from other spots and shit, and yeah. I tell them, like, oh, yeah, I'm from San Diego, so they, they look like, oh, nigga, you feel me, like, nigga, y'all ain't got no nothing down there, but when the niggas start, you know what I'm saying, moving around, and, and they get to see a niggas push, then it's like, okay, they gotta put some respect on it, but yeah. that's because, you feel me, so basically, uh, the niggas that kind of got me up off the porch, you feel me, was, was heathens, you know what yeah. I'm saying, like, that's you know what I mean? Like that's 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 their recreation. Yeah. You feel me? And for some reason, like not a lot of niggas, not a lot of niggas went through that gauntlet, you yeah. feel me? And, and, and came out like, you know, the same. You yeah. know what I mean? Like like you feel me, you might walk up in there with your chest poked out and then yeah. leave like, oh nigga, you feel me? You yeah, ain't who you thought you was. Yeah. So, you know, uh it was it, it was cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was prepared for it because of the niggas that you know what I'm saying? Pretty much groomed me. Yeah. You feel me? It wasn't no light days. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I rock with that. Uh, I, 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 I want to say you st- You personally started a whole wave out here. Would you Would you agree with that? Like, you started your own wave. I feel like you get it locked up kind of like when you got locked up, I feel like some people kind of ran with your wave. Do you feel that way? Um, Low key, right? And I think it's all about perspective with shit like that because um, I just like to say I gave him a reference point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because more than anything, bro, like I, I want to see niggas on. You yeah. feel me? But a lot of times, though, niggas don't know. You feel me? How to put one foot in front of the other? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you feel me? They don't know how to ask a nigga for the game. Yeah. Or you feel me? They might be around a nigga that you know what I'm saying? Or 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 or, or individuals that don't want to see him shine. So you know what I mean? When when I did break the bank, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I, I noticed. You feel me? Motherfuckers like similar sounds or you feel me uh, uh niggas starting to you know what I'm saying? Get opportunities and shit. You feel me? Yeah. That they probably wouldn't have had if. I didn't come out with a record or you feel me? Yeah. Um, um, I wasn't 
the reference point. Yeah. So uh, I don't feel like they 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 rolled my wave. I just you know what I'm saying they they did what they were supposed to when they uh, when they when, when they recognized opportunity or you feel me when they got motivated they got off their ass. Yeah. Really, that's you for me. That shit. That's my intention anyway. Yeah. So you know, I'm proud of go little niggas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I was like going through some uh, YouTube comments. Uh, basically, uh, are you familiar with a rapper named Briss who passed away? Yeah, man. He, he, I, uh, from what the comments were man. saying, they were saying he, he was really influenced by you, and that like as far as like. Uh, like your dancing, like you know, he's tricky dance moves. Yeah. But then I, I was watching your videos. You got, you got the moves too. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> did y'all ever have any conversation? Like, um, actually, yeah. When I was in prison, he had a uh, man. It's crazy, right? Because as soon as uh, I get our reception, reception is where you go before they kind of classify you and let you know where you're gonna do your time at. Yeah. So uh, I get out of reception and I buy a cell phone. And uh, you know what I'm saying? I buy the last cell phone, man. Yeah. Look, right? I buy the last cell phone. And uh, I actually, the, one of the conversations I was having was with Briss. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I guess he had just got out of prison too. Yeah. And uh, he was starting to be bracking out there. So um, we was chopping it up about, you know what I'm saying, about doing some music or whatever. And that night, the police cracked me with that phone. For real? On me. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then later on, I heard about, you feel me? Yeah. What had happened or whatever. So, yeah. you know what I mean? But I liked Briss, though. He was hard to me. Yeah. He was hard. I fucked with him. I, I rock with that. Um, as far as the San Diego music scene, how do you feel about it? Um, low key, right? I ain't even since I've been home, I ain't really like paid attention to it, and it been like that. You know what I'm saying? From the jump, like I got back in with this rap shit on accident. You know what I mean? I was on the run, and I'm just like, let me throw some. You feel me? Fuck it, I'm on the run. I'm gonna do everything. Yeah. But when the momentum got behind it, you know what I mean? Um, it, that's when I started taking it serious. Yeah. So. Um, I never really, you know what I'm saying? I never really had the chance to really pay attention to who's doing what or, you know what I'm saying, who sound like what. Yeah. But from my understanding, though, because, I mean, now it is the land that I'm involved in, so, you know, yeah. I got to get in. I got to pay attention to the politics or the stats. or yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, I mean, f overall, from what I've seen, like, there's some talented young niggas. You yeah. feel me about it? They go, um, I feel like, you know, if, if, if niggas do get on one accord, you feel me, and, and, and move like, you know what I'm saying, move like real niggas, you know what I mean? Um, I, I feel like we could be a force to be reckoned with, for yeah. sure. You, so, was there a moment for you where you decided to take rap serious, or like, you been rapping, how, how long, you been rapping for a while though, right? Yeah, like, um, but shit, nigga, really, I've been, since I was young, bro, like six, yeah. my mom used to write me raps. You for know real? What I'm yeah. That's crazy. And, um, you know, just like growing up, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I, it's always something I wanted to do was make music. But, yeah. I mean, what well, young nigga don't want to make music? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it, it was something that was far-fetched, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that I felt like was tangible. But, I mean, you know, I guess shit, don't nothing happen, no accident. You yeah. me, the universe put it in my lap, so. As far, you said you, you dropped the song while you was on the run? Yeah. Which one was that? Uh, all of them, shit. For real? Yeah, the whole signatures tape, getting shifty, risky business. All that was around, on the run. On the on the lamb. Uh, you feel me? Moving on the jakes, getting gone. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Skedaddling. What is that? What was that large. term like? Huh? That what was that term like for you? Bro, that was the most stressful time of my whole life. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was the most stressful time of my whole life. I was skinny, bro. Always looking over my shoulder. You feel me? Yeah. It was grimy, bro. It was yeah. grimy. But you feel me? Shit. Nigga. I ain't feel it. Surrender myself to, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Nigga. <laughs> I feel you. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you feel it is when people like think of Southern California, they only really kind of focus on the LA rap scene and kind of overlook San Diego? Um, I mean, for a long time, though, um, it ain't really been nobody coming out of San Diego. Jail, felony, uh, Mitchie Slick. Mitchie Slick been holding it down for a long time, you feel me? Yeah. Um, who else about it? They go, uh, Rob Stone recently. Yeah. But honestly, though, it ain't really been nobody consistent, versatile, you know what I mean? Um, really worth, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we ain't had that. Yeah. We ain't had that yet, honestly speaking. Yeah. Do you feel like, 
what do you feel will will change it? Like people like you, artists like you that are, that's gonna tear this shit up or like. Uh, <laughs> I see what you trying to do right there. That was tight. <laughs> nah, but um, to keep it G, bro. I, I ain't even in this shit to be no Grammy Award winning artist. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I ain't trying to, you feel me, be the best rapper out of Dago. I ain't trying to be the king of San Diego or none of that. You know? I just, you know what I'm saying? It's rap shit. I see how lucrative it can be. Yeah. You feel me? Um, I see motherfuckers is paying attention to me but when I say things. Yeah. You know <laughs> what I mean? Um, so shit, only thing I can keep doing is, you feel me? Keep doing what I've been doing. You feel me? Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? If we, if, if some attention do come over here and, you know what I'm saying? Shit. You know what I mean? I was the reason for it. Then, uh, bragging. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. I ain't finna be like, yeah, man, I'm finna come out here. Right. And I'm finna, you know, I'm finna, I'm finna put Dago on that map. Yeah. yeah. That ain't the mission. <laughs> that ain't the mission. Nah, I got you. <laughs> um, San Diego, I would say, seems to kind of be following a, a similar path as other cities as far as, like, gang banging culture is, is becoming heavy in the music. Do, do you feel like that San Diego's gang politics are that heavy, or do you feel like people are doing it because it's hot? Um, so I am gonna lie, right? Uh, San Diego is definitely a city that slept on as far as that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is it is a pretty place to be at. You know what I mean? Yeah. And oftentimes, you know, some somebody might a foolish man might underestimate. You feel me? Um, was coming out of San Diego based on that, but yeah. you know, Israel niggas from everywhere. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And and, and it's cold niggas from everywhere. For sure. You know what I mean? So yeah, to answer your question, for sure, San Diego does have some heavy gang bang politics. You know what I mean? Now is it motherfucking? Third War Magnolia Projects where niggas is getting murked every day in front of their kids or, you know what I'm saying? Is it L.A.? You, nah, you feel me? But, you know what I'm saying? It's, we ain't trying to be that. Yeah. You feel me? We San Diego. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and that's that. Nah, I, f I fuck with that. Um, what Where does plus tax come from? So, uh, basically, right, in like 2015, man, this was like a phase in my life where you feel me, I'm I'm, I'm stomped down and around. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? Shit, nigga, a uh, hundred nights straight, you feel me? Me and me and a few of my pee partners, you feel me? Uh, D Fade, uh, Bay Pimp, about East Dago Mob, uh, my nigga Suda, you feel me? Uh, uh, EB, you feel me? Free EB. But, uh, we pretty much just kind of like went up on a tear, you know what I'm saying? And then niggas used to be off the off the designer drugs, you feel me? Off yeah. nigga, 10 goddamn liters of yak, yeah. you feel me? <laughs> and just cracking their whip, popping their shit. And so yeah. one night, you feel me? I'm just, you feel me? I'm just, I'm, I'm feeling it, you feel me? And I'm just, you woke, you feel me? Plus tax, man. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of, it kind of just like, <laughs> yeah, you feel me? It never went nowhere. I like it though. You feel me? It never went nowhere. And, and, and it was, uh, it was it was birth, you feel me, in, in a place where, you know what I'm saying? We was all all on, you feel me, all fly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and that was that was the that was the scenes that we was frequenting. Yeah. You know what I mean? We didn't want no parts of that. You feel yeah. me? And then and then so, you know, plus tax eventually, you feel me? And and, and it's crazy because at the end it we didn't even embrace it as a thing. You yeah. feel me? It wasn't until later, like maybe 2017, 2018, where me and the homie 5K, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't even really don't even know how it happened. Yeah. It's just, it just one of them <laughs> it things. It's kind of happened. Yeah, it just, you feel me? It exists now. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now, though, plus taxes is, is, is more, is more for sure, more organized, is more, you know what I mean? Uh, more elegant, you know yeah. what I'm saying? More militant, you feel me? It, 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 is the P culture big out here? Come on, man. <laughs> look, man. You know, I'm from the Bay. That's look, all niggas is look, on out man. there. Look, niggas grow up on that. Look, look, man, the P culture out, man, the P culture out here is like goddamn, you feel me, uh, 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 selling crack in New York in yeah. the 80s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just what y'all do. Man, what do. <laughs> look, you, look you, could, you, could, you could pull over any individual. Yeah. You feel me? 
and I bet you they're gonna have some type of macking up in they, <laughs> you know what I mean, in yeah. their repertoire, bro. Yeah. It's that just you, uh, I don't know, bro. It's just, oh, I'm gonna, oh, sh- man, just get me worked up right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what is it that got you into making music originally? Um, my mama. When uh, she used to uh, she used to want to be a rapper and shit. So, oh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's tight. So I guess you feel me when I was young, like like I used to play uh, when I used to play Pop Warner. She used to write me uh, little raps and shit. I used to say them before the game, get the team hyped up. Yeah. Or you feel me, just you know what I'm saying, just on some funny shit. That's like, tight. <laughs> on me, she used to write me some little shit, and then uh, it was like that. Just over the years, that's just what I used to express myself. You feel me? Yeah. And then bitches is liking it, you know what I'm saying? The homies is, you feel me? I mean, you get cool points for that shit, yeah. so I just stay with it. You was saucy in Pop Water? Like, what position you was playing? Man, it's crazy, right? Because, um, all right, so when I started out, I started out since I was a little nigga, flag football. Um, I played wide receiver and flag, you feel me? But then when I moved up to Mighty Might, they put the helmet to gear, you feel me, the shoulder pass, they put me at defensive end. Yeah. I was on some J.J. Watt shit. For real? <laughs> Fucking the game over. Me That's and my crazy. Nigga, me and my nigga Dennis Carter, nigga. I don't know where he at. We had some shit called High Low. Yeah. Killing the game. But then, next year after that, they moved me to linebacker. Littlest nigga out there on the field. For real? Middle linebacker. You feel me? Damn. <laughs> so my whole pop owner, I played middle linebacker starting. Yeah. You feel me? He was hitting shit though. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? On me. Starting. We won championships. We Yeah, we was the guys. That's hard. But when I got to high school, though, they put me at running back. Oh, okay. You feel me? Yep. Junior, uh, my freshman and sophomore year. Junior year, I had already got a taste of what money was like. So, so you stopped playing football. Yeah, you know, practice was getting a little bit. You feel me? It was getting a little bit tedious on my yeah, grind. you like, hold on, nigga. Yeah, you feel me? I'm over here thumbing through loaf, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't trying to do no gas or something. Nah, I, I definitely feel you on that shit. That shit get old after a while. I ain't gonna lie though. I tried to I tried to make a comeback season my senior year, man. And what happened, man? You feel me? I, I, I you feel me? Out of the love they had for me, they gave me my spot back. You feel me? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, nigga? Whole year, nigga, smoking weed. You feel yeah. me? Drink. You know, what I'm it was it just wasn't yeah, happening. You wasn't that, 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 the profit. It wasn't <laughs> happening, man. It uh, wasn't happening. Do you want to sign a deal or you want to stay independent? Um, honestly, bro, I want to uh, I want to do what's right. <laughs> I'm really... I want to do what's right. You feel me? Because I mean, honestly, the whole independent, the whole side. I think like these days, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas do it. Uh, just as a topic of discussion, they don't really even. Uh, 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 care about it You feel me Niggas talk about it Like it's status You feel me At the end of the day bro, I'm gonna do What Is best for Me And the people around me Yeah You know what I'm saying So I mean I can't say Yeah whatever, they come whatever talking about some, They talking about some chicken You feel yeah. me And it's enough <laughs> And it's down. enough You feel me I ain't finna You know what I'm saying yeah. I ain't finna act vegetarian Yeah You know what I mean <laughs> On me Can we expect A new project coming soon yeah, for sure, a few projects coming soon, sir. As much you feel me, as, you know what I'm saying. As long as I got breath in my lungs and rap music is in, you feel me, bro. It's good. It's good. You got any uh, any names or anything we can expect coming soon? Yeah, bro. Be look out. Be on the lookout for uh, that church shoes. Church it's, shoes. Church shoes. Church shoes. Like you feel me? Like yeah. You know, Stacy yeah. or you know, yeah. Church shoes. Why? 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 Why name it? Why you name it at that? Um, because basically, you know, this time around when I went to prison, I got in touch with you know what I'm saying. The higher power now is crazy because I know niggas go, oh, niggas go to jail and turn. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't Muslim. I ain't Buddhist. I ain't Christian. You feel me? But I am in tune with the source, right? So, um, you know, my spirituality is like you Hulk Hogan status right now. Yeah. But. And pimping, you know what I'm saying? When niggas exchange information or when niggas converse, they call it churching. You know what I mean? And being that, you know, a, a, a lot of my makeup, you feel me, comes from that. Yeah. And, and is influenced by that, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the step that I walk, you feel me? You, you know what I'm saying? You walk with your shoes on. Yeah. You feel me? It, it, it take, you know what I mean? A lot of niggas can't walk. 
in these shoes. Yeah. You feel me? And 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 everything that I've been through is 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 so deep, it's so in depth, and everything I got to offer is so you know what I'm saying, so intense, so supreme. It's like spiritual. You feel me? It's like church. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I'm not talking it. I'm walking it. Yeah. You feel me? So it's you know what I'm saying church shoes. Yeah. Put your church shoes on. You feel me? And follow my lead. Yeah. No way. Uh, you like, feel <laughs> me? The only way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, me. I, I like that right there for sure. Yeah, you feel you feel me? You feel like you're about to go to heaven. You feel like you're about to, like you <laughs> to go to heaven, man. Eh? Yeah. How did you connect with uh with Ladiano? Um shit, honestly, bro, uh my boy uh Guala, he had he had bought me some beats. Guala, that's the one who was like, you feel me? While I was on the run, he like yeah. nigga here, just do this. I got a studio, I got a video, you feel yeah. me? So he kind of like force fed the music shit yeah. to me, but uh, he already had the beats. He yeah. already had them. You feel me? So yeah. he just, hey, bro, do some of this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like out of out of ask anybody, family members, teachers. You feel me? A uh, 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 football coach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anybody. Um, my my language is decorated. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. how I am is is I got a colorful personality. You yeah. feel me? I got a different dialect, you know what I'm saying? And so, just off that, you feel me? He like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you need to get on something. You feel me? So, when I rap, bro, all really, all I be doing is just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just just thinking of ways to, you feel me, talk and make it sound like some shit that, you feel me, on me, you can move, yeah. your, body, you can move your body too. It's getting shifty. That's like, that's de- that, is that me dancing or... Is that like a... Getting shifty? When you oh, say you no. getting shifty, what you mean by that? No, I mean, dancing the low. Uh, yeah. You feel getting me? Shifty, uh, like, okay. Moving the whip. Yeah. Dancing Diana. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Nigga, you getting in that vessel yeah. or in that new machine and you squat that motherfucking... You know what I'm saying? Uh, getting shifty. You yeah. feel me? You moving around in that bitch. Yeah. You feel me? Flooring it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. Getting shifty. The end. Yeah. That's that's moving around, man. That's staying, that's staying in motion. I'm in, I'm in motion. Yeah. Feel me? That's that song did a million views. I really liked on there how you how you how you start rapping in Spanish too. I thought that was oh, yeah, that yeah, was hella yeah. saucy. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I mean, I mean, I mean. Somebody it's crazy though to really when I really think back on it, somebody put me on your music about twenty nineteen and they was like, You should tap in with bro, but he down right now. Uh-huh. And then like twenty twenty somebody was still playing telling me like tap in with him. Uh-huh. And what was, took you so long, nigga? You you got out, so I hit you up as soon as you got out. Okay, no cap. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no cap. As okay. soon as you got out, I tapped in and I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. I gotta get with him. Um Can you say what is an example of risky business? An example? Yeah. Like like if you asking me like, oh, uh, what's risky business? Yeah. Shit, everything. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so look, right, everything I got a friend, right? Every friend that I got is involved in risky business. Yeah. You feel me? So I got a nigga that swipe cards. Yeah. That's risky business. Yeah. I got a nigga that sell packs. That's risky business. Yeah. I got a nigga that sell hoes. That's risky business. Yeah. I got a nigga that sell straps. That's risky business. Yeah. You feel me? Oh, me, me hanging out with another gang member. That's yeah. risky business. Yeah. I just violated me. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> nah, I got you. I'm a risky business. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You have a record called Move Around. It's done over a, mil- a million views. Um, right, right, right. Do you feel now more than ever you got to move around differently? For sure. For sure, bro. And uh, that's that, that, uh, that's a good question. And that's a low-key, like, a, I feel like a signal from the universe. Like, nigga, move different. Yeah. You feel me? Because, uh, man, it's a, lot, it's, a lot, it's a lot at stake right now. You feel me? Um, I got caught with three straps. Yeah three different times so and I already got a strike so basically if I do any crime you feel me they're gonna they're gonna watch me bro and then that's not even gonna be the worst part the worst part is gonna be being in jail telling niggas oh bro I was about to be on if I wasn't in jail bro I would have been on yeah oh bro you ain't never heard of me bro oh that would have been the most yeah. you feel me devastating yeah you know what I'm not, saying not real shit uh, walk of shame for sure what what does it feel like to go to jail and have 
a big ass buzz in the music and niggas know who you are. And that's what I'm saying. You feel me? I already got a dose of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that was the the hardest part about being in jail, right? Well, first of all, nah, the hardest part about uh remaining in jail, my pops died August second, twenty twenty. You feel me? Rest in peace, bankroll, poppy, I love you. Um, but that was the main thing, right? Was being in jail, you know what I'm saying? And then when I call home or I'm running to other inmates or even the security guards, yeah. the, the officers, you feel they me? They know you. They know me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and inside I feel good and I feel bracken because you know what I mean? Like I got this shit going on. Yeah. But when 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 reality hit me and I still got time left to do and I'm looking around and I'm wearing the same clothes as this next nigga yeah. that's a bum on the streets yeah. or, or, or a drug addict or yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or you know, it's like it's it's bittersweet because yeah. technically I, I I'm the same as this nigga right yeah. now. You feel me? Ain't now I ain't got nothing going on. Yeah. Nah, I I, I feel that for sure. Um, it, it, it's kind of crazy how like uh like niggas can go to jail, they can be famous, but like the jail shit really hold niggas back though. Like yeah, like but shit, I'm really glad you out right now. Yeah, uh, shit, niggas ain't going back. You gonna keep doing your thing for to turn this bitch up. Hell yeah, hell yeah. How do you feel about people's ops slapping their music? Um, damn. I mean, I feel like if you know what I'm saying, if a nigga hard, shit, a is nigga that, hard. Is that cool for you? Is that you cool? You feel me? If a, if a nigga hard, <laughs> if a nigga hard, then a nigga hard. You feel me? Um, now it's like if the nigga slapping some shit. And the op is talking about you feel me? Oh fuck your dead homie yeah. and well, that ooh, ah, you yeah. feel me? And you singing the word just yeah, like oh nigga, <laughs> hold on, nigga, what type of nigga is you, nigga? What the fuck really going on? But you know what I'm saying like, cause I ain't gonna lie, like a lot of my ops, you feel me or whatever. They don't, like I don't even say that word. That's yeah. word. I don't even use that word, bro. But a lot of niggas that you feel me ain't supposed to be good with me. They they I hear that they be listening to my music and you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Does I, that feel weird to you? Hell nah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit, because I was raised like, you know what I mean? My daddy laced me. Nigga, you a man, nigga, you feel me? So you, you fuck with real niggas, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And if you letting another nigga dictate basically who you can fuck with or who you can listen to, yeah. you feel me, nigga? You's a hoe, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Straight Don't listen. Nigga, you listening to that nigga, nigga? You can't listen to it. Oh, all right. Yeah. Nigga, you's a bitch. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> um, and, and would you say that San Diego has the best Mexican food? Um, I've heard people tell me that, but... Well, see, because it's a hard question to ask, right? Because when I even ask other spots about their Mexican food, like, they don't even have... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like in, in L.A., they don't call taco shops taco shops. They, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they call it something else. Yeah. You feel me? And do y'all got Mexican food out there in the Bay? Hell yeah. Like, like but like, how do they do it? Taco, taco trucks? Truck, yeah. Yeah, see, ain't nothing like... San Diego, bro. It's yeah. like taco shops. Yeah, you see, feel I, me? Y'all so close to Mexico. Like, how, like, how does that tie in? Like, y'all, y'all literally right. Like the Hispanic culture is hella big. I got like more than anywhere. Mexico, yeah. literally right there. Yeah, you're literally dry right there right now. Like, that shit kind of crazy. Oh man, they said San Diego can't be fucked with. That's what I just told him, y'all. That's <laughs> what I just told him. <laughs> if you could relive your life, is there anything you would change? Um. Absolutely not. Absolutely keep, keep not. Keep it all the same? Yep, I'll keep it all the same based on, um, like I said, man, I, I, I'm I'm a firm believer in the universe. You know what I mean? And every experience that you go through kind of like, and, and, and it's about your character. You feel me? How much fire you got up in you. So, you know, um, your experiences, they, 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 they can, you know what I'm saying? They could turn you into a solid individual with, with, with velvet lining or, you know what I'm saying? They could they they could wear you down and have you out here. You feel me? Real rugged. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like pretty much on on your your the fire that you got in. Yeah. You know. Yeah. For sure. But I wouldn't change nothing. Yeah. Can you talk about like uh like your your time in jail? Like how, like how was it? Um, what did you do with your time? Bro, to keep it G, bro, time in jail, right? People probably be thinking like it's so. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for some people, it is it is tough, you know what I mean, because you conduct yourself a certain way. Yeah. But for me, bro, pretty much time just be time. You feel me? Like like people don't people don't pay attention to it, but 
when that's all you have time, that's all you have to pay attention to. Yeah. Oh my God, bro, it's a dreadful experience. You yeah. know what I mean? So pretty much it was just like my time. The only thing hard about my time was knowing what I had. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, damn, bro, I'm bracking. Why am I here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing hard about my time. But so I was doing a lot of reading, a lot of working out. Yeah. You feel me? A lot of chopping it up with with older niggas about you feel me about shit. But time, bro, the time, the the time wasn't nothing. It was just like when you're a person of action, when you're a nigga that makes shit shake. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just sitting still. It's fucking. Oh easy, my yeah. God, bro. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, fuck. What's your sign? Uh, Sagittarius. Okay, okay. If you could pick yourself to be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? I'd be a lion. Okay, I'd be a lion. Um, I'd be a lion for sure because that's the only animal I feel like was blessed with a pin bone. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> and 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 they got a coat. You know what I'm saying? Like they gold. They got bitches that's down for them. You feel me? Um, they shoot the head of fate. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just lying for sure. Is there anything that you, you want the fans to know that they've been waiting on you? Like, you back out now. Anything you want to tell your fans? I mean, shit, honestly, bro, I don't really, I'm not a man of too many words as far as what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just show y'all, you feel me? Y'all pay attention. You feel me? Because, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what y'all been doing best since I've been going anyways. I appreciate y'all love. You feel me? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm never bigger than this plus tax uh, Alejandro movement. I appreciate all the love. You know what I mean? And, and with y'all support, we finna take over the motherfucking world, nigga. Do music coming soon. Um, it, it's it's gonna be a good year for you for sure. Great year. <laughs> Great year. Always gonna be a household name for yeah. sure. Yeah. Not for sure. I, I can't wait to see it. We are gonna have to lock in again. Uh, shit, we in San Diego right now. I came out here to fuck with you, so a dope experience. I, I'm glad we man, got man. Man, I appreciate you coming to fuck with me, man, because you know parole. Yeah, uh, parole, man. <laughs> parole got some cold stipulations on the kid right now, man. Yeah, but um, nah, man. I, I appreciate you coming and let me. You feel me? Let me uh let my voice be heard. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot to say, man. Nah, absolutely I got right. A lot to say, man. <laughs> we we got all way in the building. Dope interview on the way. I appreciate you for letting me get this done. Right on, right on. You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell.